What separates chocolatiers from amateur chocolate molders is tempering that mysterious process that gives chocolate its hardness, its gloss, and its snap. Tempered chocolate's tight structure of uniform crystals breaks down when melted. Then, as it cools, the chocolate can reform into random crystals that can make it gritty and dull. So, you'll need to coax the chocolate back into its tight, glossy, snappy, hard structure through tempering. You can use an expensive tempering machine, but you can also get great results from a microwave or a double boiler with a thermometer and a few kitchen tools. Start with good chocolate, not candy wafers, then chop it finely to increase surface area. This will improve melting. Dump two-thirds of your chopped chocolate into a microwave-safe bowl and put it in the microwave on full power for 30 seconds and then stir. Then put it back in the microwave for 10 second intervals, stirring after each interval. When the chocolate is syrupy, take its temperature. White chocolate melts thoroughly at about 100 degrees, milk chocolate at about 110, and dark chocolate at 120. If you're using the double boiler method, fill the bottom pan about one-third and bring it to a simmer. Place the top pan on the bottom section and allow the chocolate to melt, stirring frequently until it reaches its optimum melting temperature. Now take the third of the chocolate that you held back and stir it into the mixture. This will serve as seed around which new, perfectly tempered crystals can form. In both the microwave and the double boiler methods, you'll need to test the temper by dipping a piece of parchment paper into the chocolate. And if your chocolate dries to a smooth gloss, it's in temper.